Welcome to her bullpen. This is where nice. the action happens. This is where thousands of homicide cases have been solved here. In the criminal justice system. For nearly 35 years, Law & Order has presented stories of crime and punishment with a reassuring rhythm. Now, welcome to Law & Order Toronto, Criminal Intent and a Canadian cast well aware of the show's Canadian connections. I remember specifically watching Jill Hennessy, who I knew was Canadian, and connecting the dots, like being like, that girl's from here and she's doing this thing and I think that's kind of what I want to do. Don't say it. I'm going to say it. Somebody asked me the other day, are you getting out and seeing enough of Toronto, you know, on your weekends? And I said, on the weekends, you know, <laughs> during filming, I'm seeing more of Toronto than the average Torontonian. After often subbing in for Chicago and New York, Toronto is playing itself. Not just great angles, but being able to see on camera for the first time the CN Tower, the Scotiabank Arena, and all the Toronto icons that as Torontonians and as Canadians were familiar with. There was something about being in the suits, you know, having the badges strapped on, and it was there that I was like, we're doing law and order, like it's this is, and it's our city hall. I can't sleep On the small screen and films such as Pixar's Turning Red, to get to the industry's vision of the city is changing. Hollywood doesn't think of us as Hollywood North. They think of us as Toronto because they come here for the talent. They come here for the locations. They come here for the capacity. Toronto's Sharon Lewis has shot series across North America. The biggest change for her? It's the guns. Guns. Just less guns in Toronto. Less stories that are centered around guns. And what she hopes is a more nuanced look at policing and the community that surrounds it. Eli Glaster, CBC News, Toronto.